But I heard on the radio today. Yeah, uh, have you heard? You've got, you've got radio still, haven't you? They've not been. Yeah, yeah it's cool. You're all younger than me, aren't you? Um, but I was in, I was in the car listening to the radio, and apparently I don't even know about this. Like on Radio Four, uh, they were talking about um, hand transplants. They can put like an actual real hand on someone's arm and it's lost their hand rather than a fake one. I was like, it's amazing. And the other guy on there was the first ever recipient of the like first ever human hand transplant. And they were talking to him and said, what's it like? He said, oh, it's fantastic. He said, I can like, put like a full range of motion about it. Um, but there are one or two downsides and I can't really feel anything like the nerves haven't connected up yet or anything like that. And the interviewer went, went oh, what's the best thing you've done with your hand since you got it? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I reckon he told her the <laughs> second best thing that he'd done <laughs> with his hand since he got it, which was tie my own shoelaces. It was like, it cost him £50,000. That's the best he could do. And then in the studio, they're going, well, maybe that's the limits of the technology. You know, maybe you can, you can only do like certain simple things at the minute. I was like, hold on, we don't know that, do we? This bull might be a fucking idiot, might he? You know, <laughs> you know, he lost his hands in the first place, a thick fucker, didn't he? So, you know. <laughs> And then, don't just judge you know, how good he is about it, you know. Um, so, and then they were talking though in the studio, they were saying like, the issue now is though, that they've got the technology, they can do it. They've got the people that are willing to, you know, to pay to have it done. They've got the 50 grand to one side, they'll do it. What they don't have are the actual hands. There's not like a, a bank of hands somewhere they can dip into and remove hands like they might be able to do with a kidney or something like that. Uh, and they didn't know where they were going to get the hands from. And I was like, this is why the NHS struggle. They need to do a bit of lateral thinking, don't they? Put me in charge of it. This is where our special relationship with Saudi Arabia comes into play, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We give them bombs. They give us hands. <laughs> Could call it the hands for arms scheme, something like that, couldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 